What is going on guys? Welcome to another Tackle Talk episode. Today we're going to be discussing the AG chain or not. I wish I knew all my life, but I actually recently started using it quite often. Recent, when I say recent, I mean probably within a little bit over a year. It's a fantastic knot. A lot of the guys that are targeting GTs, dog to tuna, different species of tuna, um, as in like the bluefin tuna, yellowfin tuna, a lot of those guys have been using it and these are all artificial lure men. So people that are jigging, people using poppers, people using stick baits, and all these guys are obviously using this knot because it works. It's a strong knot. And on top of being a strong knot, it also has a shock absorbing component of it. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right into it. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start off. This is the lure I'm gonna be tying it to. Split ring and a ball bearing swivel. This is our monofilament leader and we will be tying it through the eye of this ball bearing swivel. But before we start, I just wanna make the first step very clear so no one makes a mistake because it's quite easy to make a mistake on the first step so let's pay some special attention to that we're going to be using the pen to demonstrate exactly what i'm doing on the eye of this ball bearing swivel so basically what you're going to do is you're going to go through twice once twice and you're going to pull this loop down tight now I'm gonna take you back to this pen because it's really critical to catch what I'm doing right now. Let's assume this is the swivel that we're tying through. So we're gonna go over once and through the loop twice, okay? It's critical that you pull the line down so that they are alongside each other. So I'll pull this tight for you to see. And as you can see, if you follow this pen all the way around, this leader is sitting side by side. It's not overlapping, it's sitting side by side. And when you pull it tight, it should sit very, very close to each other, just like this, okay? It'll sit just like, let me see if I can get for you guys. So it'll sit like this. If you did it wrong, it's gonna flop to the side, like how it's doing now. And when you pull it tight, and you go to the back of the knot, you'd see that it loops over right here. You do not want this. To happen why because when it pulls tight you see that x that x means that the line on top is going to be pulling into the line below and essentially it's going to cut into itself and your line will break there and it will be a weak point so you do not want to have that happen again it's supposed to sit side by side so you go through once and you go through twice and when you pull it down This is what you should get. No, no X, no weak, weak points. All right, moving on. All right, so we're back at step one. I'm gonna repeat the same thing I just said. We're gonna go through the eye once. We're gonna go through the eye of the swivel twice. And you're gonna make sure that pulls on nice, tightly, neat next to each other. I know, we pull it down really tight here, so it holds some memory, and then we start. What we're gonna do is alternate in half hitches. So you're gonna go over, under. This is our first half hitch. You're gonna pull it right down, right down. And you pull it tight. And then you're gonna go under, over, number two. Same thing, pull it down nice and tight. Then you're gonna go over, under, number three. Grab it with your teeth, grab it with your pliers, whatever you have, pull it tight again. And you're gonna go under, over. And you're pulling that one. Nice and tight. After that, you go over, under, pull that tight. And 
I'm gonna get that one a little bit tighter. Then under, over. And over, under. Once you do that about eight times or so, then I normally finish by going over once, twice, three times. And you're gonna properly lubricate that with whatever water you have. In this case, I'm using saliva because that's all I have on me. <laughs> I'm gonna pull that down and you're gonna see it's gonna come down really nicely there. Guys, see that? And you wanna make sure, and keep an eye on that knot. Make sure I'm working in exactly how it should work in. That's where you're finishing it. And then you're gonna pull this, pull that tag line as hard as you can, pull the main line. Make sure everything's nice and tight. You're gonna cut this just a couple centimeters from the top. This is your tag line, you throw that away. And this is your AG chain. Now what I recommend is probably burning this, give it a little mushroom and I'll do that. Remember never burn your line, be very careful with it. And that folks is your AG chain. All right guys, hope you all found this tutorial helpful. Please lay your knots, make sure and use the optimum knots. Do research, make sure you know the fish that you're targeting and the best application not for that type of fishing. Because if you don't, you may end up like this guy. Oh! <laughs> that guy clearly wasn't using an AG knot.